I'm Christine Crooks, and I'm here today to show you a short sequence on the Allegro 2 with the Easy Set Foot Bar. We're going to work on scapular mobility and dynamic stability. So we'll start seated on the carriage with a blue spring connected. And let's face the foot bar towards the tower. Reach for that foot bar. Have a long seated position. And if this isn't quite comfortable for hips or low back, you can prop yourself up on probably a moon box light. Yep. Or even just a small pad. Now take your hands on the foot bar about shoulder width apart. And I want you to first start by finding yourself in that tallest seated position. So lifting the sternum, feel the shoulders fall away from the ears and then give a little bit to the bar. So don't resist the bar yet. I want you to allow that to pull just enough to feel the shoulder blades start to slide out the sides of your body. And then as you draw closer to the bar, without bending your elbows, the shoulder blades come together and then apart. So we're finding that activation in the rhomboids. <sighs> draw together and apart. It's amazing what this can offer to people that might have quite a bit of tension into their upper spine and their scapula. Sometimes we don't know we're holding tension and if you go into that muscle contraction with the rhomboids or the levators you start to notice wow I didn't have far to go I guess I was holding tension there. So maybe 10 or so repetitions just to start to mobilize all of those connections. And then we're going to take a little single arm. So bringing your hands to the middle of the bar, bring the right hand palm faces up, back of the hand against the bar, feel yourself square to the bar here, supporting with that left side. And then as you open the right arm, allowing that spring to pull and that foot bar <sighs> takes control. Then as you close, you feel that left scapula pull into midline. So we're allowing that rotation to come into the spine, but it's still mobilizing the scapula. And make sure you follow that right hand. You follow that line of rotation. <sighs> Other side for a few repetitions. So left palm up, right hand holding, and open. And close. Make sure that you're sitting tall, lifting into that spiral rather than leaning back or leaning forward. You want to find that lifted vertical line. And notice that dynamic control you have with that right side, drawing you closed and then releasing out. One more time. Follow that left hand, open the side. And now that we mobilize that upper spine and the scapula, let's do a few rollbacks. So sitting up tall once again, hands are nice and wide on the bar. Take that uh, tailbone drawing under as you roll back, sending the carriage through. Then diving over, send the carriage back, 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 back. Long stretch. Make sure you're not collapsing over the legs, but you feel that horseshoe shape really come into the body. Exhale over. And I like to restack to vertical, find that lift, and then roll back. Last one. Dive over, feel those abdominals drawing back, finding space in the spine. And restack. Now to deepen this work a little bit more with some challenges on not only the shoulders, but also the core, we're gonna move the foot bar up on the track. So lifting, angle it towards the tower. And then we've locked it in that highest position. Keeping the blue spring, so it'll stay a bit on the lighter side. Sitting and then lying down on the carriage. Make sure you've found yourself supported head to tail, feet on that platform. And as you press, grab onto the bar overhead, palms are facing the sky. Legs come up to tabletop. Now here, this is a great place to also get a bit of 
full range or end range in that shoulder flexion. So find that length and then the shoulder blades glide down the back as you bend the elbows and pull under the bar and lengthen back out. So we're finding that same scapular mobility and that dynamic stability here so that as you extend the arms, there may be the ability to shrug up, but we don't want to find that tension creeping up into the neck. So really finding that strength, draw the scapula down, bend the elbows, pull. Two more times. And now just to see a difference, we're gonna flip the palms. So we go underhand grip, and some people, just that slight change of grip, it becomes a bit uncomfortable in the wrist, elbow, or shoulder. So we want to find places where we're challenged, but if it's taking away from the exercise, then change the grip so you can still achieve the purpose. Now let's add in a challenge to this. So arms are lengthened, but not locked out and shrugged. I want you to feel the scapula draw down slightly. Shoulders are supporting you. Abdominals sink a little deeper. Send one leg long and low and back in. Other leg long and low and in. As you extend one leg, you don't forget about that dynamic stability in the shoulders. You can do anywhere from five to 10 repetitions. And now we're gonna take one foot down to the platform at the bottom. Make sure you have it before you release the hands from the bar. Coming down, and I wanna activate the back body one more time before we finish. So feet are on that platform, arms are on the carriage. Depending on your height or leg length or both, you may wanna leave the stopper just slightly if those knees are too deeply bent in flexion. Or for a challenge, you hold the carriage at the stopper. And then as you roll up into bridge, we feel that back body working, posterior chain. Roll back down. We're only gonna do four more, five bridges. We're articulating up and down, finding that scoop, abdominals working from the front, glutes, hamstrings working from the back. I like to think at the top, the goal is not to think of that furthest extension to feel it in the lumbar spine, but rather finding that quadriceps stretch at the peak of your bridge and roll back down. And one more for good measure. And before you roll up, keep in mind you have a light spring on, so don't push the carriage away from the stopper. Rolling up, finding the floor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this balanced body video.